Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. Pahamar, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Direwolf? I'm well. I think this is now episode six of our Agrarian Skies Let's Play. You are correct. Yay, I got it right. Yay. Dude, our automated thing that does automated things automatically is cruising. <laughs> Please tell me more about this automated thing. It's... It's automatic, and it's automated, and it's moving really fast. That sounds incredible. That sounds... Yeah, the thing that we set up last episode that pulverizes cobble into sand, and or into gravel, and then uh, another one that does uh, cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to dust, and auto autonomously activates, and et cetera, et cetera. Working great. Um, like, really great. I should also explain to my viewers and yours as well. Uh, since the last episode, I've built out a farming platform and I've cannibalized the old one so that we uh, we can expand this out nicely. Cool. I've actually discovered that um, I actually upgraded this a little bit. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's I've now over. got three. Yeah, come on over. I've now got three autonomous activators on the sieve. And I've discovered that three autonomous activators is about exactly the speed that the sieve needs to operate to sure. keep up. Sure. What's that? Oh, did I get an emerald? Hooray, finally. Now I need another one and a diamond. Um, three autonomous activators on one sieve is perfect uh, for a pulverizer running at full speed. This pulverizer is not running at full speed because um, two things. One, our magmatic dynamo ran out of lava, and two, I've got um, multiple machines running at the moment. So both of those things tend to present a problem to our so setup as it is right now. So I see we upgraded chest to a gold chest. Yeah, we needed to. That is a lot of lovely looking ore in there. Right? We've got some good stuff coming in. Limestone. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know what it's for, but it's from Mariculture, and I guess it's important because it's You're pretty rare. You're out of again. You're yeah, out of well, I'm, I, well, I'm not that out. I'm only a little bit out. <laughs> what we're going to do this episode, Pahamar, because we need to, is move these things down underneath the platform and hook them up directly so that we can pump lava directly into here. And we'll also automate it with cobblestone gen so that we can pipe cobble into the crucibles, and we'll, at that point, determine if these crucibles are enough to keep up with our magmatic demands. Do you think we're also going to... Uh, we should probably get a quest going, too. We should. And you know what else we need is um, a, a nice way to cut down trees. Yes, I would very much love it. Okay. Uh, let me let me come up with a good tool. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Iron... Flint. We could do flint. Cactus bone. Oh, we could do bone. That's neat. Didn't know that was an option. Um, let me determine what we want to make the head out of. I want to make it out of something that we're not terribly low on. Normally I go with iron, but we are actually not that good on iron right now. We're pretty good on copper. I could make it out of copper. I'm going to grab the book and see what, what these different materials actually give, and I'll pick up a good bonus set, so at least we have a decent axe. It's not going to be the best axe in the world, but it's going to be decent. Cool? Because cool. we're going to need to repair it, at least until we can get mossy cobble, which actually, if I remember correctly, mossy cobble is pretty easy to get. Let's see. Yeah, you can still fluid transpose cobblestone, water, mossy cobble. Good. That was not nerfed. So uh, fluid transposer can get us mossy cobble, which we can use uh, to get the moss upgrade to automatically repair our tinker's tools. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Let me just refer to the book, uh, Materials and You by Skyla. And we'll be back in a few minutes once I'm ready to pick out which tool kind I want to use. Maybe it's mighty smelting. Oh no, wait, that was it. See underneath our area. Oh, that's possible. Yeah, he is. Still. Yeah, he's basically right underneath the gravel thinger. Dar well, I do not appreciate that. To the attack. Pro Sniper. skills. What is up? 360, no Do you have, um, any food, by the way? Yeah, I got some toast. 
Cool. I'm thinking we put a chest over by the farm, and any food that we farm up, we put in there. It'll yeah, be there's like a, a chest over there already. Oh, cool. Come over here for toast. toast. Yay. By the way, here's the bone. Okay. Nice. It's just right, four bones. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna need to do... Do you know how to do smelting and making patterns and stuff? Yeah, roughly. Okay. I got so, no inventory, so it's all you, though. Here goes. Alright guys, we're back, and uh, I think we're ready for this. So, have you made the upgraded forge yet, Mr. Pahamar? The upgraded forge? No, I haven't. Oh, wait, no, I have, but, uh, yeah, I misunderstood setting it up the very yeah. first time. So, the, the tool station makes basic tools, but you're going to need some, um, some blocks of iron. Let's see. Tool forge actually requires four blocks of iron. Am I a little bit short on iron for this? I might be. Might need to cook up some more. I think I've got iron in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Iron ore. That looks good. So we'll cook up a little bit more iron. I want to check on my... Oh, we've got three diamonds and two emeralds now. I can get another autonomous activator soon. Well, now, pretty much. All right. Back in a minute once this last bit of iron cooks up. I thought I had enough, but I don't. All right, Pahamar, you ready to make something really useful for trees? I am so ready. Okay, so we're going to upgrade our tool station to a tool forge, which requires a lot of iron, unfortunately, but we're doing so good on resources now, we should be good to go. Ta-da! Tool forge. This is what we can use to make all kinds of good tools, like the lumber axe. See the lumber axe? Indeed. Ooh, three Ooh, by three, three by three. By three. Yeah, it does a good job actually. It's even better than that. It just it basically tree capitates. Um, so what we're gonna need is uh, a couple patterns here. So I'm going through the stencils because we're gonna need um, a need some wood. tough some wood. rod. Uh, actually, no, I'm pretty good for wood right now. Yeah, we're gonna need a tough tool rod. Don't think I have that pattern yet. We're going to need tough binding. A large plate and a broad axe head. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do is. Have you done this where you make the patterns yet, Pahamar? Have you gotten this far in Tinkers? I've done a little I've bit of it privately, bit. but. Okay. So basically, I'm going to, in the part builder, can you see what I'm doing? Yep. So I'm going to make a stone plate and I'm going to make a stone broad head. But you'll notice that the tool tip on that is telling you that it can only be used to make casts, not the tool. Yep. Um, and then while I'm at it, I'm going to use stone for the binding and the tool rod because it really doesn't matter that much what you use that for. It, it mostly will affect durability um, modifiers, but I'm not too worried about it because we're going to eventually put moss on it. And then um, you'll note that I've been saving the molten aluminum brass in here. So I'm going to set the smeltery to its make that be what comes out next. And then I'm going to pour a cast onto the stone. There we go. And then the same for the axe head. So now we've got casts for each of these things. Nice. nice. And um, what I decided to go with was uh, obsidian. So these, you know how like the pickaxe requires like one ingot? Mm -hmm. Well, these, uh, the, the large plate and the broadhead each require eight ingots. So oh. we need 16 oh. total ingots for this. So here comes eight into the broadhead pattern. And that's why I have enough molten obsidian in there for 16. Igneous extruder for the win on that one, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And steal the plate off you, so there it is. Okay. Ah, it's my inventory. I'm going to put the um, casts in here when I'm not using them. I'll put the angle one back, and I'll put this guy in here. And I did have a pattern chest, which I'll kind of put all these patterns in over here. All right, so now we should have everything we need to build the lumber axe. Oh, really? 
I didn't know that the binding and the tool rods were the same. All right, I have to make casts of those now and decide what I want to go with um, for these guys. I didn't know the binding and the tool rod was the same deal. I couldn't use those. I have to do something with them. Well, I do have some molten iron in there. I could go with iron just because that's what I have in there. Pretty sure the tough binding uses three and the tool rod also uses three. So that should actually work out all right. It's fun watching you work. Thank you. Okay. And there we go. Cool. All yours, buddy. Nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have you used that tool at all yet? I haven't used this one, but I got a couple trees over here that I could uh, stand to go knock down. Well, let me tell you, um, as somebody who's been doing a lot of tree mining, you will appreciate this. Just hit the bottom most piece of wood. Nice. No, it actually works better when there's leaves above it. If it doesn't detect leaves, it does a 3x3 three three pattern, but try it on the bottom piece there. Very nice. Yeah, it'll do the whole tree. You know like the giant ridiculous trees that take half an hour to cut down? Yeah, it'll take care of them, no problem. Beautiful. Now we just need to get ourselves a, a fluid transposer so we can get mossy on this. Yeah. Um, Alright, do you want to move the crucibles down underground? I think we have enough wood so far. Um, I guess so. At least to do this piece of it. I think I actually want to get a second magmatic going, and I might even want to replace the leadstone energy conduits with in-bar energy conduits. Okay, well, could you make up some tanks for me to... Because I think we also want to uh, automate these crucibles now, too. Yep. So if you can make up some tanks... tanks well, I want uh, the tanks to pump the lava out of these crucibles into. Okay. And what then, kind of tanks? Um, what do you think? Open blocks? Because they are so easily expandable? We could do that, but we don't even really need tanks. Like, we could just have the crucibles lava directly into the magmatic engines. Oh, I'm just thinking about oh, piping thinking. away later, because we're going to want... Okay. Uh, we're going to need some... Uh, we're going to need magmatics so that we can power the AE system later. Okay. Well, then let me... Uh, I know we're going to need pretty much four obsidian for the... Um, the tank from open blocks. So yeah, the open block tank requires that and some um, glass panes. So I can at least get one of them and then later on we can get more as uh, the time arises or the need arises. Okay, so tank from open blocks. Oh, that gets us two. That's even better. Let's set this guy back to cobble. Hooray, back to cobblestone production. Okay, so that's that. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to get more invar, I think. Let me see, how am I for invar? I've got 10. Probably could do with some more. So I'm going to get some more iron, because I need more iron before I can make more invar. And I guess we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Okay, Pahamar, you ready? Ready. I've got a tank here from open blocks. Nice. And when we hey, break, when break these, they keep their liquid, right? I don't know. We should test it at least once, though. We should test it before we fill it too much. Well, there's... Yeah, go ahead and yeah. break it. They do. Excellent. Okay. Um, so you want to work on moving the crucibles down underneath this platform, and I'm going to make us another magmatic engine. Now, the deal is magmatic engines output ADRF per tick. Leadstone energy conduits can transfer ADRF per tick. So if I have two magmatics, I need to have a better energy conduit. So we have to upgrade from leadstone to invar. 
So I'm actually going to collect these guys at the moment. And then I'm also going to automate completely uh, this next segment of cabling and such. So I want to, because I'm, I no longer want to have to manually add cobblestone to the system, I want to completely automate it and not have to worry at all about pretty much anything. I want to be able to walk away and not even think about what it's doing. Do you like that idea? I think we need more tanks. I think you need more tanks. I am short on redstone for this. That's okay, we've got more. We've actually got a decent amount of redstone now, thanks to all this stuff we've been doing. i got this long run to go dump all this lava for you. Well, that's what we're trying to get rid of. We don't want to have to do that anymore, right? Yeah, it's because those open block tanks are full already. We apparently had a nice. lot of lava already. Alright, so I've got hardened energy cells. I've got hardened energy conduit, I mean. I've got a second magmatic going here. Um, we're going to get rid of this tank up here, by the way. It keeps its inventory, it keeps though, doesn't it? Uh, yes. If you use the crescent hammer to pick it up with a shift right click. If you break it with a pick, it loses it. All right, while you're doing that fun stuff, I'm going to change the way this works a little bit. I'm actually changing the inputs and outputs here because remember I've got an issue where I'm basically building up a surplus of sand and gravel in our pulverizers that we don't want to have. Well, I guess sand and dust is what I'm getting. I'm getting sand here. I'm getting dust here. And I can't very well carry it through because dust, if it went from this pulverizer into this one, would basically jam up this pulverizer. So I got to get rid of it somehow. Um, so my basic plan here is to change these guys so that the output from these slots to the top, and I'm going to either dump it into a trash can, just because it's pretty rare that it occurs that you get it, and I really don't need it, to be honest with you, at this point. So I'm either going to dump it into a trash can, or I'll maybe dump it all into a chest, and then a trash can after the chest is full. I haven't completely figured out what I'm going to do. Um, but what I am going to do is hook up some item ducts, like so. And I'm going to make Mr. Pahamar another igneous extruder. Correction, I've already made another igneous extruder. Yay. Yay. So all and I need is... as a thank you for you, I've made a additional eight crucibles, so we have 16. Oh, wow. I don't even know what goes into making those, because you've been making them all. Uh, porcelain clay, which is just one clay and one bone meal, and you need seven of those in a crucible shape. Then you got to cook it gotta in cook a it furnace. In a... Nice. So I'm going to move this stuff downstairs, and then we'll get started on cooking it up. Cool. I'm hoping one igneous extruder is enough to keep up with these two pulverizers. I'm thinking it will be. Um, but if I need to, I'll make more igneous extruders over here. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, so that's that. That's the two magmatic dynamos cooking up. Uh, and by the way, two magmatic dynamos should be able to keep up with the power demands of four pulverizers. So this should be all running at max speed at this point, which works perfectly for me. Cool. Now, if we look up top here, we should see the gravel get replaced almost instantly after it's broken. That's because the three uh, things there are keeping up with the one pulverizer. Oh, it's so cool. I love how perfectly this balanced out. All right, um, so this thing's all set now. I really just need trash cans into a chest or something here, but we'll see. Could go with those. Uh, are you ready for downstairs action going on, Mr. Pahamar? I'm just I'm about just to come about up to and come grab up the and lava grab in that it. tank so I can get set up. Get set up. Okay, I might make another igneous extruder, believe it or not. A third one? Well, to fill the, the, the things downstairs, I'm thinking. They're pretty cheap to make. All 
I mean, it's really just a little bit of breadstone, and that's about it. That's really like the main component. I wonder if it needs to be lava source blocks under these things, or just flowing blocks. Um, I do not know. Okay, I've got an igneous extruder for you. And this will be used to pipe cobblestone directly into those. Because honestly, like, we're actually using up quite a bit of cobble. Like, the igneous extruder I just placed up there I think is going to be nearly maxed out. Um, this one will probably be nearly maxed out with the amount of lava that we're going to use. So do you want me to set this up? It should basically just be this, this and this. And now we're making cobble. And then I'm going to set this guy to output to the right and item ducts. Right? And then I just need to wrench this little guy and we should start having cobble land in here. I presume. Oh yeah, look at that. Cobble just went in. Well, the good news is... Oh, oh, you are seeing it? Yeah, there it is. The good news yeah, is, good is news that we is. don't need source blocks underneath. We can just use flowing. Nice. Netherrack with fire is actually better than lava, right? It is, there? but we don't know how to make it yet. Yeah, we don't have any netherrack. I think there's a quest that we could do that might give us that. Yeah. Now, do you want to run this directly into the magmatics, or do you want to have a... I think we want to have a tank, which is why I wanted, why these, I wanted here. these here. Okay. Because then we have a collection have a point. Collection. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab one of these tanks, just so I can move it. And basically what I'm thinking here, Pahimar, is something like this. And then I've got fluid ducts, which will... run like that. Well, there you go, Dyer. You have yourself right. 16 crucibles. Nice. We just need you to uh, set up the other igneous. I'm short by one fluid duct. Rage. Do you have any wood by chance? I don't, actually. What? You're the wood guy. It's in the chest. You're the wood guy. The number one rule of uh, Skyblock is don't keep things you don't need on you. Oh, my inventory is full. Is that a problem? <laughs> and I don't need any of it. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> what chest is it in? What magical chest that doesn't exist anywhere? By the farm. By the farm. Oh, okay. Hey, you did a nice job on this little tree farm and, and food farm over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to expand it. I think I'm going to move the plants, like the farm crops and everything, to the level below. And then we'll have the trees oh, okay. up top here. Oh, wow. Look at all this food in here. I like it. We have plenty of food. Don't say that. We're going to starve now. And I love this axe you gave me. I told you you would, right? You ready to test the lava transfer? Yep. All right, come on down. It's like a giant V8. All right, so there's 11 blocks, or yeah, 11 blocks of lava in there, 13.5, all right. So if we flip all these levers, we should start getting lava in that tank. Look at that, dude. Wow, it's filling up quite a lot. We're going to need more tanks. And that should activate that guy to send the lava up to the magmatic dynamos to keep them powered. And we have a surplus of lava just off these eight. Nice. So Let's keep those eight going and we'll see if that's if that's a true surplus, and if it is, then we're cool, and we'll just leave it like that for now. 
You don't want to use these other eight? I made them for you. Well, leave them there, and then we'll we'll use them later. We, we don't really have the resources to make more fluid ducks and item ducks without being a little bit wasteful at this point. Okay. Yeah, we will definitely use them, I promise. Don't feel bad. Just not yet. I'm thinking what I want to get now is a chest, and I'm going to make also a trash can. I should be able to make. We've gotten to the point in Skyblock Pahamar where we're voiding things. I wanted to. I was supposed to say, what do we need a trash can for? You just stand on something, and you throw it into the void. Well, yeah, but it's not automated then. Yeah, talk about. <laughs> Here he is talking about wasting resources. Well, the resources I'm wasting are infinite at this point. And it's what's going to happen is it's going to back up our system. Like, this sand is going to get turned into dust, and this dust is going to gum up this pulverizer. Like, we can't put dust in a pulverizer. It'll just it'll gum up the system if I leave it there. So my options are to either store it in consecutively larger chests and probably never use it, or just void it. So I'm just going to store it in chests for now, and then avoid it once we get to that point. I'm probably going to want you... I guess I'll do... I don't know if... Can these guys be flagged as... Yeah, they can. Nice. Ah, come back here, you. Alright, so I'm going to put this thing... I guess here. Here's a question for you, Dyer. Yeah. Do you know where your slimy sapling is? It's in one of the chests over there. It's one all by itself. I'm thinking now's a good time to get started on that peach tree and that slimy tree. Okay. There's slimy and peach. Alright. Do you know how the uh, vacuum and dense mode on thermal expansion item ducks works? Nope. Come check it out. Okay. So I've set all these um, pulverizers to export their yellow slot above them. And they'll go into the item ducks. And you've got whale installed, right? Yep. See when you mouse over that red item duck it says dense mode? Yes. That's basically like the last place items will go. So what should happen now is all the sand and dust that we get extra from the pulverizers will land in the chest. And then once the chest is full, that's when it will start going into the trash can. So we have until this chest fills up to decide that we don't want to avoid these things. Okay. I'm going to go see what a slimy tree looks like. Apparently slimy trees don't respond to bone meal. User in your channel timed out. And there goes Direwolf. We'll be back. Alright guys, so I think our next goal, we're actually gonna like do a quest by Mar. We haven't done this in almost two episodes now. <laughs> We've been so busy with the infrastructure. But the infrastructure's coming along really well though, we have to say. Yeah, this is a good investment in later quests. Okay, so Fungus Among Us. We need to get ourselves some glowstone dust, which totally not a problem. We have a ton of that stuff. Soul Sand, which we're about to get now. So apparently we need to um, get some ancient spores by sifting sand, which we got some of, right? Yep. Do you yep. happen to have You'll some sand on you too? Because we're going to need that. Um, we need sand sand? We need sand I do not, sand. but I can get some. Yeah, you go ahead yeah, and get that. Ahead. I'll plant these ancient spores. Ooh, okay. we got mycelium, we got mycelium, right, mycelium away. right away. Cool. So when you plant ancient spores on dirt, it turns into mycelium. Truth? According to this, that barrel of water is now turning into witch water. Well, is there any water, indication of that? Well, it's a darker color now. 
While the water in the barrel turns into witch water, mushrooms will spawn on the mycelium. Placing sand in a barrel of witch water will make soul sand. Sifting soul sand can give you nether plants and resources. Maybe we'll get netherrack from that. Placing a creepy doll in a barrel of witch water will spawn an enderman. That which we actually, we actually have creepy dolls. Oh, look, mushroom. Nice. That's oh, cool. yeah, that's oh, purple yeah, now. That's purple. Wow, look at that stuff. All right. That is creepy right. water. You ready to do this? I don't know, are we? Are we spawning the Enderman? Is that what we're doing? Oh, we <laughs> no, let's get the soul sand. All right, you ready? Ready. Hooray! I've got soul sand. And this is, yeah, I'm trying cool. to figure trying out to figure. if... If we just have a bunch of barrels by mycelium, if it'll just constantly spawn witch water. I See how it's getting it dark? Get... Yeah. It's it's slow, too. It's not, like, instant. This is like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> dry faster! That's getting to be pretty purple. Okay, that's cool. It's too bad that Wayla doesn't tell you when it's witch water. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, you want to dunk some more sand in there? I don't know. Do you want to do the creepy doll or the sand? I don't have a creepy doll on me. Oh, you know what? I can't place the sand in there at the moment. Try again. Just keep trying. I'll get a creepy doll and more water. There we go. Okay, cool. Did you see I put an infinite water source right above us there? I did see that. Cool. We can get another one down here if we need. So you have a creepy doll from a, from a reward? Two reward bags gave me a creepy doll, so I have two creepy dolls. Okay, uh, we could have made them using ink sacks, nether wart, which I presume we would have got from sifting the soul sand, um, lapis lazuli, which we probably have some from all the sifting we've been doing up there. We have lapis, right? Yeah, we have Red lots of lapis. lapis. And we also would have needed a diamond and some porcelain clay, or an emerald and some porcelain clay. So this, if we didn't get this from a, from a quest reward, we could have done it this way. And we might have to even, because there's no guarantee when we kill the Enderman that spawns that we're going to get an Ender Pearl, which we need for the completion of this task. Yeah, and I have two dolls, so hopefully this helps. Okay, do you want to do the doll next? Yeah, we got to wait for the water, water, so I'm just going to okay, eat up. Do you need That's food? That's pretty much what I'm doing, too. No, I'm alright. Are you ready for battle? Ready for battle. It's your arch nemesis. Your arch nemesis. I know. Well, I've got some pretty good armor on, so at the very least, I've got decent armor. All right, you ready, you Mr. Ready? Frying, Mr. Pan, Mr. Man? Frying Pan Man? Yeah, let's do it. I'm so gonna die. Did it go in there? I'm trying. I'm trying. Then Maybe it's it. not all the way witch water yet. Let me just make sure I'm reading this right. Placing a creepy doll in yeah, the right. witch water. Yeah. Yep. It might be. It might have to be all the way witch water, which it wouldn't let. Oh, me look! It's doing ender effects. Ender effects. I don't like that. Uh oh. Is uh -oh. a creepy dog going? It there? took one of the dolls. Oh goodness! Why'd you do that? I don't know where the Enderman is. Maybe it takes a moment to spawn him. Maybe I'm scared. You stay down here. I'm gonna look upstairs. No! Don't leave me. You got a frying pan. You're okay. No, I'm not. Everything looks good upstairs. It took the creepy doll, right? Yeah, I only have one now. Okay. Should we wait? Oh, uh, Enderman, he stole our mycelium. And he just ran away! He stole the mycelium and ran away. That is so not cool. That's the Enderman for you. That's the trolliest thing he could have done. And now he's just staring at us. He's staring at you. Where do you put our mycelium? Oh, this is a battle. Why am I on fire? Is oh, I have fire, fire aspect on my, my sword. Oh, nice. Oh, he's gonna teleport like crazy with fire aspect. All right, you hang out up here. I'm gonna go down. Is that where he went? I think so. Is he down there? I don't see him. I hope Where'd he didn't he teleport into our mob spawner. That would have been funny. Well, judging by the height, there's only one spot he could have been in there. I'm going to look behind the look house. Behind. 
Hmm, where'd he go? Can't believe he stole the mycelium. Oh, here it is. I found it. That's but if fantastic. I break that, it's oh, gonna, I see him. He's like, by the mob spawner. He's got something yeah, else. Oh, look at him. Oh no, he oh, pulled the dirt no. out of the uh, mob spawner hole. He is seriously being a troll. He wants to let the mobs out of the mob spawner. <laughs> Do you see why I don't like Enderman? I can see that. They're nasty they're with nasty. you around. Dude, they're such trolls! They took the mycelium, they unplugged the mob spawner, trying to unleash wisps upon the world. Watch there out, he he's gonna pull a block out from under us. Where? I don't see him. I hear him. Oh, he's dead. I saw him I die. I got him. No ender pearl. We, we, ender gotta, pearl? Do that again. we gotta do that again. No ender pearl? See? Troll. After all that hassle, he didn't even drop an ender pearl. I'm just looking over here because I saw him teleport in this general direction, but I'm not seeing an ender pearl. All right, do we need more ancient spores? Uh, I think we just need the mycelium. Okay. Although, if we dig Although it up, it's going to become normal dirt again, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So you want to just grab oh. one of these barrels and put the water over there. We can spawn them over there. It's not the end of the world. What a trolly enderman. Dude, they're all trolls. Every one of them. All right. I've got the witch water. Well, it's turning into witch water. YouTube will be back when the Enderman spawns. I can use my axe. Yeah, I would say do that. Oh, you've even got cactus on it. That's probably a good axe. It's your axe. Oh, is it? Okay, nice. Yeah, so guys, we're just waiting for the second Enderman to spawn since the first one was such a troll. Yeah, that first Enderman was a troll. So, hey, there he is. Where'd he go? Over there. There he is. It's daylight. daylight. You hang out over there, and I'm gonna. Pearl! Nice! Pearl. Nice! Awesome. Do you want, um. Do you want to manually submit? Uh, we're gonna need. Do you still have soul sand? No. Then we're gonna need to make some more real quick. Real quick. I have some sand. I now have soul sand. Okay, give that over to me. Okay. And we'll get a piece of glowstone. glowstone. Go for it. Manual submit. Claim the reward. We can have raw fish with some kind of enchantment, or a wooden sword with some kind of enchantment. <laughs> Such a troll. I'm gonna go with the fish. Okay, and you can tell me what it is. It is a raw fish morsel with fire aspect five. I'm gonna go with the sword, I think. Oh god. Ow. Jump in the water. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm burning fish. Okay. What's, so now the, I what's got, the sword? Oh, I got a wooden sword with silk touch one. Silk touch sword? Yeah, I don't think that really does anything good, does it? Well, now we have. Ooh, we, I think, have now just unlocked getting rubbery, which means MFR rubber. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. this one. Yeah, plastic is a key component in creating the machines you will need for farming and automation on the map. Rubber seeds can be gotten from the sieving, from sieving dirt. Or if you would prefer, you can craft a rubber sapling by combining any slime ball. Nice. Which, we still have our slimy sapling growing over there. Very cool. Oh well, pretty good oh, for this episode. Good. Yeah, I think we get started on MFR next episode. Yeah. That's yeah. not a good plan? And maybe get some more nether resources. You know what we absolutely need to do? Like, I just combined a bunch of the resources in this chest and cleared it out, believe it or not. I just emptied this chest and it's almost full again. So, here's what we really need to do. We need to get some barrels. Are you down with that plan? I think we're going to have to. Yeah, definitely. Alright, we have to wrap up the episode now, though. Yeah, it's getting late. All right, guys. Oh, I have a creepy doll. Bye, Mar. That's. Did you want to do that again? Do that again? No, that was a quest reward, I think. That from the yes, we, we both got did. a creepy doll. Go. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put that over here in this chest, along with uh, that sword. I'm gonna put the half heart away. All right, guys. Time to wrap up the episode. This is Daryl Twenty signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Mar. Take it easy. <laughs>